This is chapter four, part four. In this lesson, we will learn to calculate a median and an interquartile range. In the last lesson, we learned that to describe a distribution, you should address the shape, center, spread, and unusual values. We also learned how to describe shape as symmetric, uniform, or skewed. And we also learned how to identify unusual values. In this lesson, we're going to focus on center and spread. In particular, if you have a skewed distribution, you should describe the center using the median. The median of a data set is the middle value. That is, it divides the data set in half so that there are equal number of observations above the median and below the median. So in order to do that, the first thing you do is you take your data set and put it in order. So in our first example here, it's all out of order. So now I've put it in order. Then you count the number of values, and we have seven. You add one to however many values you have and divide it by two. This will tell you that the fourth value is the median. So our median is 13. In our second example here, again, the numbers are out of order. So they have been put in order here. Notice that there are six values, so you add one, divide by two, which gives us 3.5. So the median will be between the third and the fourth data value here. So when it's between two values, you average those two values, and we find the median is 18. A resistant measure is a measure that is not affected by outliers or skewness. In this last example, if we change the 39 to a 399, the median would still be 18, which means the median is resistant to this outlier, which is why when you're trying to describe center for a skewed distribution, your best choice is to use the median because it's not affected by outliers. We also have to describe spread. We're describing shape, center, spread, and unusual values. One way to describe spread is with the range. The range is the difference between the maximum and minimum values. So in this example, 25 minus 12 is 13. So our range is 13. Notice that the range is one number. It's not 12 to 25. That would be an interval. The range is just the single number of the difference between the max and the min. The range, though, is not a resistant measure because if this 25 were a 250 instead, the range would become much larger. A better measure of spread is the interquartile range. The interquartile range measures the range of the middle half of the data instead of the entire data set, which means the outliers would then not have an effect on the IQR. So to find the interquartile range, you first have to find all of the quartiles. The quartiles are the values that divide your data set into four quarters. So first thing we do is find the median. This data set has 29 values. So if we add one and divide by two, we find out the 15th data value is the median. So our median is right here. And so the median would be 76. Then to find, oh, and by the way, the median is called the second quartile. Then to find the first quartile, we take the lower half of the data set up to the median, and we find the middle of that. So since we have 15 values on the lower half, 15 plus 1 divided by 2 gives us 8. So the, or not 8, yes it is, 8. So the eighth data value is the, medi or the median of the lower half, which is, makes it Q1. So our first quartile is going to be 66. So now the upper half also will have 15 values. So the eighth value on the upper half would be the median, or Q3. So right there, Q3 is 88. So then to find the inner quartile range, or the IQR, we find the difference between Q3 and Q1. So 88 minus 66 is 22. So our IQR is 22. 
Um, if we were to find a five number summary, we would just add to the Q1 median and Q3 a minimum value, which is 12, and a maximum value, which is 100. That would be a five number summary. We'll come back to that at a later time. So, if we were to compare these two distributions, this top distribution we could say is approximately symmetric and unimodal. It has a couple of gaps right here. The median appears to be about 70 with an IQR of approximately 25-ish. Um, and our second distribution, we would say, is skewed to the left with an outlier down here. And um, the median value is going to be somewhere around 90 with an IQR of approximately 20. So shape, center, spread, and unusual values. 